Hi guys, Chase Bros here. So I've decided that I'm going to make a series of videos about how to play tic-tac-toe correctly so that you will never lose another game again. Now when I say you'll never lose, I don't mean that you're going to win every single game, okay? Those are two different things. What's going to happen is you're going to get lots of cats games or ties and you're going to win some, but you'll never lose. Now you're probably wondering, why in the world would I want to spend some time watching videos about how to play tic-tac-toe? Or maybe you're thinking tic-tac-toe is just a simple game and you already know how to play it, so you don't need to watch these videos. Well, let me address these two concerns. First of all, why in the world would you want to spend some time watching videos about how to play tic-tac-toe? Well, if you think about it, tic-tac-toe has been around forever. It's like an ancient game. Probably everybody watching this video has either played or will be playing tic-tac-toe at some point in their life. So why not just spend a little bit of time and figure out how to play the game so you'll never lose again? The second concern, maybe you're thinking tic-tac-toe is simple and you already know how to play it. Well, it's not as simple as you think for most people, especially if you don't ever want to lose again. Now, even if you know a few tricks at tic-tac-toe, that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll never lose the game. The only way to never lose the game is to figure out every game possible. And I've done that, and what I'm going to do in these series of videos is try and give you the simple basics without boring you too much so that you will never lose another game of tic-tac-toe again. So, with that introduction, let's get started. So the app that I'm going to be using in these tutorials is called Tic-Tac-Toe Free. Um, you can just search it in the App Store. It's the most popular one, and you can download it for free. These tutorials are going to be broken up into three separate videos. And the reason for that is because there's basically three different scenarios that can play out in Tic-Tac-Toe to keep it simple. It's a little more complicated than that, but... To keep it simple, there's basically three ways that tic-tac-toe can go depending on where the first person plays. So if I go first, I can go in one of the corners. I can go in one of the sides. Or I can go in the middle. So in this first video or part, we're going to be discussing the different scenarios or games that can play out if I go into the corner first. I like to call this the corner game. So let's say I go into the corner first. If I go into the corner and my opponent does not go into the middle on their first move, they will automatically lose every single time. There's no way around it if you follow the rule that I'm about to give you. So let's just say that they go into any one of these spaces that's not the middle. Let's say they go into this top one right here next to me. Now, the very next thing that I need to look for is another corner to go into. And there's only going to be one corner that I can go into. There's always only one that will give me two in a row and, most importantly, will not allow them to block me and end up with two in a row so that I have to block them on my next move. If that was confusing, just keep watching and it'll make sense. So I'm looking for a corner to go into and there's only one. It's not going to be this one because that won't give me two in a row. It's not going to be this one because if I went there, they would be able to block me and end up with two in a row so that I would have to then block them and it would end up in a cat game or tie. So I know that was hard to follow. Let me demonstrate it for you so you understand. So let's say I go here. Okay, well they're going to block me. And they have two in a row, so now I have to block them. And as you can see, it's going to end in a cat game or tie. So, let's do that again. I go into the corner first. They go here. I'm not going to go here and here. There's only one corner, remember, that I can go into in order to guarantee myself a win. And it's this one right here. Now, when I go there, they're going to try and block me. But they don't have two in a row, so I'm free to go wherever I want. Now again, I'm going to go into another corner, and again, there's only one corner that I can go into in order to guarantee myself the win. It's not going to be this corner, because if I went in there, they would block me, 
and have two in a row so that I can not block them. In fact, they would win if I went in that corner. If I go in this one, that would guarantee me the win because then I have two ways to win. You see that? Two ways. So no matter where they go, I'll end up with the win. Let's just say they try and block me here. I still win. So I don't need to give you guys any other examples. As long as you're following these rules, it doesn't matter which space your opponent goes in. As long as it's not the middle, you should be able to win every single time. Just remember to be looking for that corner that will guarantee you the win. So you're probably thinking, well, what do I do if they do happen to go into the middle? Is it just going to be an automatic tie, or can I still win? Well, let me show you. If they happen to go in the middle, the best option for you in this instance is to go into the corner that is directly diagonal or opposite from you. So right here. If you go right there, they now have two ways still to lose and it's one of these remaining corners. If they happen to go in one of those you can still win. So let's just choose one. Let's say they go here. Now you're gonna block them and now again have two ways to win. You see that? So after watching this video you should understand how to best win if you go in the corner first and on the flip side of that you should know how to avoid losing if your opponent goes into the corner first thanks for watching and be sure to watch parts two and three in this video series on how to never lose at tic-tac-toe